Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is the M1 MacBook Air A2337, space gray, very nice machine. I actually did do a, a backlight repair on this one. If you're interested, you should definitely go ahead and check it out. It's kind of like a part one to this video, um, and you'll see why we're getting to this point, and we are going to be replacing the screen on this one. If you're interested in checking that video, check it out, because we do a backlight repair. It's really nice on this one. It's very interesting, and I did actually look up a little bit. We have seen that there have been other people that have a common issue with that one, so it looks like that the UP700 is um, something that does fail quite often, and uh, that can give some problems. So definitely check that video out. Um, otherwise, for this one, we are going to be replacing the screen, so let's just get right into it. We already do have battery, obviously, because we just did a repair for it. The customer did authorize the replacement screen for this one. It's really unfortunate. We do a full diagnosis, and we always like to let our customers know, uh, especially if we see any damage like to the LCD connection here or this area, that there's a possible short that could happen there, and there's no way to really tell until we're able to at least do a repair on the, on the logic board. There is no problem with the connection here, um, at least visually. There's no problem with it. Um, there's no obvious liquid damage, so it's a very clean-looking LCD especially if it's turning on and there's only a problem with the backlight. It's always difficult to, to let people know in those type of situations because obviously it is a bit more money. It's an extra repair um, and that's kind of what we're doing here. We were able to at least get the keyboard up and running too because I did show in, even in that video about how it was a little bit sticky. did put a little bit of alcohol on it and it just works fine but that's not really a, a big deal, you know. So we're glad that at least uh, the cable, what's this? Is this like a fuzz? Or like a string or something? I don't know what that is. Let's throw that away. But it's, uh, you know, uh, especially liquid spills or anything. But even here, you can see it's pretty clean. Like there's nothing, there's no damage to it. It looks nice. You know, it's not, <laughs> yep, that just happened. You know, shorted it. That's, you just had to get a screen replaced. And uh, at least the customer was very understanding about it. Um, we did work with them, obviously, on, uh, on a price because we did just do a liquid spill repair for the board and we'll look at it through the customer's eyes too. Still the same amount of labor. Uh, the screen is very expensive. Um, uh, we're lucky this is more of a 13 inch not a 15 inch otherwise man <laughs> it would be a tough one really to, uh, to do anything else because 15 inches are always a lot more expensive especially the 16 inch man. If you want to check out something man go ahead check the price of a 16 inch. Uh, that's not fun. Um, but obviously labor isn't that difficult on these and we don't mind. But still, it's the, the principle, we have to cover warranty, we have to do a lot of stuff, but um, just, it's it's really a shame. You do all that work with the board repair, here's your screen. You know, we're fortunate though, we do have, um, we do screen replacements, we do lots of stuff, we do board level repairs. It's nice that we can at least offer uh, the option of to do all this stuff, you know. Uh, some people do want to fix uh, their, their laptops completely, and they want to um, be using their original stuff. They don't want to buy new stuff, you know. So it's important to give people options and not just say, you know, to, to go let them know to buy another device or something. Um, for this guy, we did let him know uh, if you just want to get his data, we can just transfer the data because it's still the same thing because the board repair is still a board repair, right? Because it's still <laughs> it's still the same thing to get the data off, right? Because the SSD is actually on, on the actual uh, board itself and there's no separate SSD, there's no... Um, anything else there so we did give that option too but uh, you know the customer wants to fix their machine they want this is their machine they want to fix it it's a nice machine still it's still cheaper always than getting another one so why wouldn't you want to fix it you know it's still gonna save you some money it's yours you know it's a more personal it's gonna have all the data it's gonna have the operating system it's gonna have all your applications that are on there um, I know those are usually pretty easy, pretty easy to reload but this is still a very nice machine you know, it's an M1 if this isn't the older Intel ones, this is going to take all the updates. This is going to give you all the features that you need. It's going to give you that nice speed. It doesn't have a fan. <laughs> so I don't know if you want to call that a good thing or a bad thing. But hey, you know, it's 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 your MacBook. You bought it. You spent all that money to, to fix it up. You know, maybe you loaded, uh, I s maybe you loaded one of the higher um, spec ones. You know, maybe you got 32 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs. I don't know. Like, if you think about all that stuff, um, even doing a full replacement on this, even almost replacing the whole thing, is definitely going to be worth it, you know, to fix ev absolutely everything. Because if you get a high-spec machine, um, a lot of customers look at it, well, if you get a high-spec machine, right, then you definitely know the value of it. And it's there is no um, cheaper way to go for it, you know. Replacing a screen and doing a board repair is definitely worth it all the time. But if you're, um, if you're probably one of the 
but you always have a lot of customers that think of it like, you know, if I go to a Best Buy or if I go to Apple store and I didn't like customize mine, I didn't get any features, didn't get the latest processor, or I, I skimped out a little bit on the RAM and maybe the storage, then it's, yeah, then it definitely makes more sense maybe to, to either just get data or you don't want to do a full repair. But most people who want to do repairs, they know the value of their machine. They know um, why their machine is, is, is valuable to them, you know, and especially if you spec it out and you're like, oh, yeah, it costs uh, this amount of money. Well, you probably got the lower end machine or you're looking at maybe getting a lower end one, maybe like a, um, I remember back then they used to, most of the, the ones you see like in Best Buy, right? They're like the i5s and like eight gigs of RAM and maybe 128 gigs of storage. And you're looking, well, that's, how much does that cost? Oh man, that, that's, that's the cost of that. Or maybe get a refurbished one. Um, it doesn't cover the warranty as well. Um, so it really depends on how you look at it, but most most people know the value of their machine. And that's just kind of the, the principle of this, this whole entire um, f fixing your repair. Like people know they go places, they get diagnosis of places, they know how much stuff costs. Um, never ever want to blindside someone. Like if, if we believe that they need a screen or if they need something extra, we always want to tell them in advance because that's the most important thing, right? We want to give them the most accurate quote we possibly can within our power. Um, but uh, if we do notice something, we just have to say it, you know. Um, if we believe there's a possibility of it, we have to we have to let the customer know because it's important. It's their money, you know. It's not fair to to be dropping o other repairs on them um, when you full well know that's just not right. It's wrong. So it's really important to uh, to always be honest and uh, just to give as much information. That's the point of a diag of a diagnosis, right? It's the whole point of it is to take a look at it and to let you know. Um, your options and there's you can't be absolutely perfect because you don't know uh, what if the Z key didn't work like <laughs> you know like what if we do this whole repair right and the Z key didn't work and it, it's like every other key works but the Z key um, and then you need you maybe need a keyboard replacement because just because of that one Z key that didn't work <laughs> you know it's kind of the same type of thing so there's always things that especially like a computer shop um, I'm sure every computer shop, if, if you're, if anyone's a computer shop owner or if you're in any type of uh, service industry, you understand that there's always a lot more that goes into it and there's a lot more risks on, on our end. You know, some people just look at it as, like, oh yeah, they're just swapping two parts and that's it. Like, and then they don't see the troubles and they see that um, they swap a part and maybe it just works and they're like, oh man, that's all it took, you know, but it's, it's not how it is. There's usually expertise that come into that. Why well, does it take five minutes or sometimes it can take hours and countless hours and then you still don't get a repair, right? There's a CPU short or something else wrong with it. Um, those come with expertise. It kind of comes with everything like that goes along with doing these repairs. Nothing is really straightforward all the time. Um, even the most straightforward repair, oh yeah, there's no backlight. Well, that clearly has to be, right? Oh, there's a backlight problem. It's usually a problem with, with logic board. There's no damage to LC. Okay, so that's that's usually what it is. And then maybe it's hopefully there's a liquid spill. We can see that the, the fuse is gone or there's a few caps that are uh, corroded. Then that's it, right? Oh yeah, nope. Uh, there's a lot more that always goes into these things. There are circuit boards and, and it's liquid spills, especially you don't know how much damage is there. And you, there was always a, there's power rails and there's lots of diff, lots of different things. And the only way you can learn all this stuff is just by doing it over and over again. So, if you see any shops like us, you see other YouTube channels too. They do the same thing. You can see some of the struggles that a lot of places do. A lot, a lot of board repairs. So if you ever watch a board repair, there's never swap, swap, swap. Easy, easy, easy. It's never. You'll never, ever, ever, ever see that. Um. Well, they won't be a shop if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna see that because that's not how it is ever. It's not realistic. Um, there's always so much that goes into it, and even understanding um, things and getting information right. Um, there are like wikis now about these like board repair wikis. There's board views. There's the Paul Daniels software, and there's lots of stuff that helps going to this. But at the end of the day, you still need a schematic, right? And you need that's what you need. Someone has to leak that information really to do it. Otherwise, it's guesswork half the time, or you go off based on older models and uh, what your previous knowledge is, right? So, um, yeah, I, I'm just I'm really happy though. Um, we're we're doing a full fix for it. It's just unfortunate, obviously, that that the screen has to be replaced too. Um, but hey, you know, if if they want to do it, I'm more than happy to. Uh, I spoke to myself, 
and I did to let them know about the process for it. And definitely, man, I'm going to go let them know. This is, you know, about the, and definitely, you know, they can go ahead and check out the repair on, you know, the on YouTube, man. We posted it, and we, we showed the, the, the difficulty out there. So, you know, anyone can see, and especially the customers can see, too, you know, the work that we do on their machines. Uh, we don't post absolutely everything. Obviously, we get a lot more in them than we show, but still, uh, we like to try to show any type of interesting ones or uh, problematic ones that, that may be giving an issue. But, uh, yeah. I kind of rambled the whole time. I'm almost done. So we can go ahead and test this out. See how it's going to look. It's going to look good. I think that's it, right? Everything but the LCD cable. But it, it, it's always, it, it's, it, it makes us like upset because, you know, we always want to tell people up front we don't want to, to drop uh, bombs on people about it. It's like, a, hey, man, there's another repair you need to do. <laughs> like, it's, it's, not, it's not the most fun thing in the world to, to, to do that, even to, to say that. And you know how much work you put in. They don't know how much work you put in. If you watch the video, you'll see. Go ahead, again, check out the video we did on this repair. Um, it's really interesting. It's really good. And I've been looking it up, and there's been a... There are some issues. It's a common. It seems to be more of a common issue with that UP seven hundred. It's like it's going bad, and the whole area kind of go fries a bit. So, uh, go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it. That was basically the part one. This one, this one, just kind of me talking about, just rambling a little bit, but it's kind of the whole thing. All right, let's go ahead. I think this is good. Let's get our friend a brand new screen. All right, should be full repair. There you go, and we're back in business. Okay, I guess it didn't take too long, did it? Nope, you guys with me the whole time? I really hope you guys were. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching, just hear my little rant. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.